The final table is set from our record-breaking WPT showdown at Seminole Hard Rock. Tonight, poker's first ever NFTs will drop on Theta Network. Our player of the year has been announced and the WPT Deep Stack series on 88 Poker is complete. That's this week on the WPT. What a week. As I said last week, we saw the largest field ever before in WPT history take part in the WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown. And this week, we worked our way down from that ginormous field of 2,482 players to our final six, where we paused and these six will head to Las Vegas in a couple weeks to play under the lights and the cameras of the Poker Go studio to film for our show on Bally Sports. And they'll battle it out for the $1.26 million up top. All six players are guaranteed at least a quarter of a million dollars from making it to the final table, but one will officially become a poker made millionaire. Biggest WPT in history. I, I was just glad to be part of it. I mean, um, and to make it this far, it's amazing. In gros, je suis super excité, super content. Ça va être le plus gros step de ma vie. Du coup, ça serait pas mal. C'est mon premier WPT. Mon vrai WPT, c'est le premier que je joue. Du coup, ça serait kiffant. Quoi. Ça serait... I grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, became a realtor. Was a realtor for 10 years. Uh, switched careers about three years ago. Went back to nursing school. Uh, became a nurse. I've been working in the neuro ICU there. Um, taking care of COVID patients lately, but now I'm playing poker too. Kind of a jack of all trades in that way. All the hard work, all the years, decades at this point of grinding and working and never giving up is just paying off. Everyone dreams of winning the WPT and I have an opportunity that very few get. For me, you can travel the world and play poker, but the world comes to you when you play poker. I'm a retired teacher. My lifestyle is that of teaching. So money is important, but it's not uh, something that I can't wait to get more of. It would be a feel good, but nothing that I need here or here, okay? There's nothing like getting your chips all in when the stakes are so high. I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but putting my name on the Sexton Cup would be euphoric. Oh my God. During that event, we announced some big news for Brian Altman, who is now the season 18 Ublo WPT Player of the Year. With the conclusion of WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown, Altman's victory was confirmed for the 2019 to 21 season, being one of the most impressive that we've seen. He won the Lucky Hearts Poker Open at Seminole Hard Rock for just under half a million dollars and finished third at WPT Maryland Live. He almost made it to the WPT Legends of Poker final table at the bike, taking 10th place. But while he didn't make that final table, he did make the WPT Borgata Winter Poker Open final table, which is set to play down this month in Las Vegas for our TV show. So his results, as they are, have already confirmed him as the player of the year, as no one can catch up to him at this point. And knowing that he also has another final table finish to come just expands his victory impressively farther from the rest of the pack. As the Season 18 Ublo Player of the Year, Altman will receive a custom Ublo timepiece from our official timekeeper of the World Poker Tour, Ublo. He'll also receive $15,000 in WPT tournament buy-in credits and complimentary accommodation at all WPT main tour events for Season 19, the VIP POY treatment. Tommy LaRosa, Poker Tournament Director in the Venetian Poker Room, here to personally invite you to our $2,400 No Limit Hold'em WPT Deep Stack Venetian event. Our event in March had 812 players with a prize pool over $1.1 million. Our goal here is to provide a safe and clean environment for you to feel comfortable to come take home a WPT title. I hope to see you in the Venetian Poker Room. Tonight, I'll be joining Tony Dunst, Matt Savage, and Crypto Stash on Theta.tv for the countdown to our very first NFT drop on Theta Network. It starts at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time. Sales begin at 9 p.m. Pacific. And if you want to get in on it, make sure you preload your account now or before the drop because they will sell fast. Like maybe within seconds. You can watch the live show at cryptostash.theta.tv 
And sales will begin right as our TV show on Bally Sports ends. And that's the continuation of the Theta Network WPT cash game, which after seeing their cash getting splashed around at the tables, you can then invest in one of those players' NFTs right afterwards. For more information on all of that, just head to wpt.thetadrop.com. The WPT Deep Stack series on 8 at 8 Poker finished up this week across 8 at 8 Poker's global networks. And Alex Gray has the summary for the largest of the three, the WPT Deep Stacks London Online. So I'll leave you with Alex's report and I will see you next week. All day ones combined meant that 1,087 players were all vying for that prestigious WPT Deep Stacks London Online main event title. This smashed through the million dollar guarantee, meaning there was $1,087,000 for the prize pool. Just 177 bagged their stacks for day two and 100 got paid. 888 Poker Ambassador Chris Mormon came in 77th and bagged $2,718, while Dominic Mitchell went all the way to the final table, coming in at eighth for $21,740. Martin Jakobsen and Ben Warrington were two other superstars to cash in this event. The final table took a little over two hours and almost ended three-handed when chip leader Alan Shake landed pocket aces with both shorter stacks all in. But the jacks of Paul and Who 00 flopped a full house for a huge triple lead into heads up. It all ended when once again Paul and Who 00 had jacks against Alan Shake's tents. A brilliant day for Brazil as Alan Shake finishes as runner-up, winning $130,440. And then in first place, winning not only the coveted WPT Deep Stacks title, trophy, but also a cool $233,705. Sunday drew in 584 mini main event hopefuls, creating a total prize pool of $116,800. It took, rather fittingly, 8 hours and 38 minutes to crown our winner. Another brilliant day for Brazil as Bruno Zikawan came out tops in the heads up battle between him and Agza underscore Zenny. He walks away with a deep stacks title and a not so many $21,300. 16 trophies later and the WPT Deep Stacks London online on 888 poker is fini. Thank you all so much for taking part. We hope you had a blast and congratulations once again to all of our new winners.